you're probably thinking of living in Chelsea in Manhattan. Chelsea is a very, very fun and popular neighborhood. So I actually get people coming to me a lot asking about Chelsea specifically. It's a lively neighborhood with a lot of restaurants. So you can always find a place to dine in Chelsea. However, places get packed up pretty quickly. So you're definitely gonna need some reservations to get in there. So the avenues in Chelsea can get very, very loud at night because there's a lot of people going in and out to different like restaurants and bars. But I would say that the side streets in Chelsea can get actually very quiet at night because you're gonna find that the streets in Chelsea don't really have a lot of bars and restaurants. They're really only on the avenues. That's gonna be the case for most neighborhoods in Manhattan, but not all neighborhoods in Manhattan. So the subways in Chelsea are pretty decent. So you're gonna have both your express trains and your local trains going through Chelsea, which makes it very easy to get in and around Manhattan. So Chelsea is also next to the West Village, which is an extremely trendy neighborhood. And then also Hudson Yards, which is more of like a new development neighborhood, but they do have Hudson Yards Mall there, as well as some other attractions there and more high-end dining. Now, one thing I love about the dining scene in Chelsea is that you can find some very, very trendy high-end spots, but you can also find some more like low-key casual spots too. So you don't always have to feel like you're breaking the bank going with the fine dining option. You can find some very, very low-key spots that are definitely more affordable, at least for Manhattan. Now in the neighborhood, you also have Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, which of course is always a perk in New York City. So everyone loves to have one of those or both of those in their neighborhood. There's not a lot of neighborhoods in Manhattan that have both Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So this is definitely a perk here. And also Chelsea is waterfront neighborhood. So you can easily get to the Hudson River waterfront on the west side. Because of that, if you have a dog, you can walk your dog along there. You can also just take a walk or run there if that's your thing. So I personally love waterfront neighborhoods because you don't feel as landlocked. You kind of feel like you're kind of stepping outside of Manhattan for a bit when you're all the way on the waterfront, even if it's on the east or west side. And Chelsea is on the west side. So who would love Chelsea and who wouldn't like Chelsea? I would say that. So if you like being around restaurants and bars within walking distance, then Chelsea is definitely gonna be the neighborhood for you. If you don't care about that, then you might not care about living in Chelsea. It's not the cheapest neighborhood because a lot of people pay to live near bars and restaurants. So if you want to live near bars and restaurants, but also wanna live on a more quieter street or block, you can find that in Chelsea. So I would say that it's kind of more of like a happy medium neighborhood because you can find things that are still close yet more on a quiet street. You have that in Chelsea. Chelsea is also made up of apartments and townhomes. So you have a lot of different type of buildings there. You have your high rise buildings, you have low rise buildings, you have townhomes, you have doorman buildings, you have walk up buildings. You find a little bit of everything in that neighborhood. So I would say that Chelsea tends to be a very blended neighborhood with all different types of people because there really is something for everyone there as long as you find the right home for you in the neighborhood. Now, I hope this helped you figure out if you should live in Chelsea. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if anybody watching this video has lived in Chelsea, I would love to hear your stories because I think that your stories really help the rest of the community. So that would be great. As always, I love hearing from you guys.